Okay, in this video, we're going to go over a new feature in Plasticity 2025.1, and that is section analysis. Very useful tool on uh, checking out things inside your objects, inside your uh, designs and stuff like that. Very useful. Okay, so there's going to be a new UI option up here, and that's section analysis. All you have to do is click it, and it defaults to the grid plane, whichever plane you're on. So let's go ahead, just escape out, and I'll switch the grid plane down here by tapping on your planes here. And if you hit it again, you can see C plane, all right, construction plane. And so, and then you've got a gizmo that you could drag it in and out to wherever you like it. You can also, let's see, let's just find some. We'll just do this face here. Boom, okay. It will... Align to any face that you have. You could do here. This can be a little weird because it goes based off of the normal where I clicked. So kind of off axis there. So let's go ahead and just go. Let me cancel that. We'll change our grid plane back. And go ahead. Section analysis. And I'm going to switch the shader real quick. I want to show you something here. And drag him up. Notice how we're getting a little red indications here and there. That is where your meshes are overlapping. Your solids are overlapping with each other. So you can see it all over the place here. So you can see where the, the pipes connect here. We come up a little higher and show you this here. Let me actually switch it. Alt Z. Let's see. Let me go, actually, I like it the other way. Let's do it like that, that, all right. Turn off, uh... okay, so now let's take a look at this here. So this is a good example of what you would want to try to fix. So if you're trying to 3D print something, you're trying to make things fit perfectly, okay, so I'm not gonna do perfection here. Uh, because I never really intended for it to be 3D printed, but it probably could. So what I want to do is see where it overlaps here. I want to fix that. So let's go ahead. We're going to confirm our section analysis. Now it's locked into place. Now it will stay just like that until I click off of it. So now I can fix this part right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that glass chamber there. I'm going to isolate it real quick. What I want to do, I'm going to click on him and I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I know it's not going to work that well. And I want to do face, face, face. Come out of isolation. Now I got my gizmo here. Now I can bring it up as far as I need to. There we go. I've cleared the interference there. And I can go back to my edge here, clean it up, turn it back into a fillet, right click, zoom out. So the top is symmetrical, so it's symmetrical on both sides there. And now you can see I am free and clear of that little section there, and I still have to fix that one, but we're not going to do that here. A just quick example of how uh, a good workflow would be if you needed to get your tolerances just right or make sure everything's clearing before you 3D print something. So click off section analysis, now you know, now it's perfect. And there you go, that's section analysis. Awesome new little feature inside Plasticity. We'll catch you in the next video.